Hello, I'm Sonia with KC Strings, and today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning off your instrument. Most of the time, all you really need is a soft, clean cloth, preferably cotton, and you're going to wipe down the strings and the area between the fingerboard and the bridge every time you play. This will help debris be wiped away and keep it from building up on your instrument. In general, probably about once a month, you could take your soft cloth and wipe down all parts of your instrument just to give it a nice good polish. That'll help keep it dust free and in good condition. In some cases, we've had people ask us about instrument polish. Instrument polish is something we typically don't recommend, but something you can use if you have particularly bad buildup or if you just want to give it an extra shine. The important thing to know is that instrument polish interacts differently with every type of instrument. The chemicals in the varnish and the chemicals in the polish might not always interact properly together, so it's important to test in a small area that you don't see too often. Um, you might test right around the button, or you might test right kind of in the crevices by the neck in a very, very small spot and test carefully. Um, our polish is designed specifically to go with our instrument varnish as our master luthier Anton Krutz has made both the varnish and the polish so we know it should work well together. Any other instrument or any other polish brand, test carefully first. Now most of the questions we've been getting about cleaning lately have been about how to sterilize your instrument. The best answer is there is no good way to sterilize your instrument. Um, you can use different types of alcohol, just like you would with hand sanitizer. You need a higher percentage of alcohol in that to clean it off. That being said, you can only, and I cannot stress how much, only use alcohol on the unvarnished parts, which means the chin rest, the pegs, the fingerboard, and the strings. Do not put any alcohol of any kind on any part of the rest of the instrument as it will strip off the varnish, change the sound, ruin the finish, and be very hard to fix. When in doubt, don't use it. In this case, the best way would be to use UV light. Um, we have a UV booth that we use for our instruments in our warehouse because we make our instruments and it's a commercial setup. It's not something you're going to be able to find on your regular everyday use for your common household. If you do want to try to use UV, the best thing to do is to find a very sunny window and you got to make sure your window doesn't have any kind of UV filter and leave your instrument in that window for a day or two. Between the UV from the light and just letting your instrument sit untouched, you're most likely going to have any kind of pathogens on the instrument be destroyed by the UV or die out on their own from lack of contact. If you are choosing to use alcohol to clean off your chin rest, fingerboard, strings, or pegs, and only those parts of your instrument, we recommend a rubbing alcohol. If you can't find rubbing alcohol, you can use your central denatured alcohol you'd find in a hardware store, or you can use something like Everclear, which is over 60% alcohol. It's important that you have it over 60% or it does not do the job it needs to do. In our case, you'll want just a soft paper towel, nothing too fancy. I like to fold it up a little bit and then I take my alcohol, put just a little bit on there, again, because as I'm wiping, I don't want to accidentally touch the top of the instrument, and then just carefully wipe down those parts of the instrument. You might get a little bit of residue coming off. If your instrument has been made from softer woods that's painted, you might be taking paint off and you want to stop right away. If you're using an instrument properly made with ebony, or in this case, might be made with boxwood, or the third option for chin rests, and chin rests only, is plastic. Those things are fine to clean. You might get a little residue as some of them will be dyed a little bit just to kind of even out the color, but it should be safe. 